everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie Thompson, and if you're new, then welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I chose community college, what I did throughout community college, is community college right for you, and lastly, I'm going to be answering your questions that you all had for me. So let's get to it. Topic number one, why did I choose community college? This was a pretty simple choice for me because I actually graduated high school a year early for through a public charter school and I wasn't thinking of going to a big university but I knew I had to go to college and so the most logical next step for me was just to go to the community college nearby because it was way less expensive my older brother was already going there and so it didn't feel like it would be that much of a dramatic next step for me so that's what I decided to do I was not ready to move away from home and be away from my family so number two, what did I do throughout community college? The first thing I actually did when I went to my community college was got involved in sports. I tried out for the COS volleyball team the summer before my first semester and I made the team as a red shirt and so I red shirted my first year and it was a lot of fun going into my first semester with already quite a few friends and playing a sport that I loved which is volleyball. And although I had a lot of fun playing volleyball, I essentially had to make a decision for myself whether or not I wanted to continue to play volleyball or if I wanted to give it up essentially in order to really focus on my schoolwork. So I decided to stop playing volleyball and to start focusing on school and I also got a part-time job. So during my second year, I began to be involved in more clubs and one club that I was mainly involved in was the Mesa Club. And through this time with getting involved in more clubs and taking more science classes, this is when I really found my solid group of friends. We all essentially had the same classes, which is a perk of going to a community college is that there's smaller classes and less people, so you are bound to have multiple classes with multiple people that you know. So then at the end of my second year at community college, I actually graduated with my associate's degree and I walked with my brother, but although I had graduated, I still wasn't ready to move on and to transfer to a university because I did not want to leave home. <laughs> I just really didn't want to move away, I, and I was completely content with staying at COS for another year. So while my brother transferred to Sac State, I stayed at COS and did another year. And the reason why I did another year was because there were still a lot of classes that I could take that would transfer to university. So I decided to save more money and take the rest of the classes that I could at COS to get those out of the way and then I would transfer. So then during my third year, that is what I did. I took more classes and still had the same group of study friends and then after that third year is when I finally transferred out to Sacramento State. And trust me, if I could have taken more classes at COS, I totally would have. <laughs> but at this point, after my third year, there was literally almost nothing else I could possibly take. Maybe one or two more classes that I could take, but it obviously was not worth staying for. So and that is when I was forced to move on and transfer to Sacramento State. So now on to the third topic, which is, is community college right for you? So when deciding whether or not to go to a community college, there are a lot of factors involved and it all depends on who you are and what place you are at in your life. So if you're coming straight out of high school, I would say community college is a great way to jump into college and to start off. During this time, you can save money by going to a community college. You save money on food and housing and you can just commute to a community college. It essentially gives you time to acclimate more comfortably into the college life without having to deal with other factors such as being away from your family and being at a huge university. If you're a parent, then you have to consider whether or not, one, you're, if you're able to move, if you're going to be able to afford moving, or if you're going to decide to take out loans, then you need to decide, are you going to be going part-time, full-time, are you going to be working, um, how are you going to be able to take care of your kids? And then you have to consider if you have to move somewhere, then are you still going to have help wherever you move? So community college might be the best place to start off for you or if you're going back to school. So it really just depends where you're at in your life. So that was just a couple of situations to consider. But obviously you have to really think about yourself and think about if you're ready to take that next step and move away from your family. Or maybe you are the type who you're like, I am totally ready. I want to get out of the whatever town you're in and you're, 
you're, if you're ready to go to a university and you think you have adequate study skills, you do well in new situations like that, then by all means, go for it. Even if you feel like you're not ready, if that's what you want to do, then go for it. I 100% think you should do whatever you feel would be best for you. But personally, I loved my community college. I absolutely loved going there. I loved all the people that I met there. And I, ha and I still have some amazing friends, best friends at that, that I met at my community college. So now on to topic number four, answering your guys' questions. How big were your class sizes? My class sizes for my science classes, they're relatively small, about maybe 20 to 24 people. And then once I got to OCHEM, those class sizes were small too. I think we had like maybe 10 people per lab. But then for the other classes, like the GE classes, those were obviously more full with more people. And so those could be anywhere from 70 to 100 people, which is still smaller than a university though, because at a university, you could have a science class with like 80 to 100 people. And then the GE classes, if it's in a big lecture hall, you can have 200 people. Is there any benefit in going to a community college? Yes, I think there is a lot of benefits. You save a lot of money by going to a community college. It allows you to acclimate. You're in smaller classes, so you're able to connect with your professors more. And it's just a really great way, I think, to start off your college career. I also feel like if you go to a community college, then you're more inclined to get involved into these clubs because they're relatively smaller. It really helps you kind of help figure out who you are and navigate the college system. On to the next question. Did you feel more or less prepared when you transferred? When I transferred, I felt very, very, very prepared. Honestly, 100%. And it did help that when I transferred, I moved in with my brother that was already attending the school. And so that really helped me feel not so alone when I transferred. But that's like a personal thing. But for the classes, I did feel like COS really, really did prepare me for a university. Did class size make a difference? So yes, I believe class size made a difference because at my community college, the class sizes were small. You were able to really talk and know everyone in your class. And I really enjoyed that because like I said, I had a lot of friends and we were all taking the same exact classes. But at the university, the class sizes for a science class, upper division science class at that, was about 80 to 100. And then on top of that, a lot of those students have been going to the university since straight out of high school. So it felt like they already had their cliques going on. So being a transfer student trying to integrate into those classes, I felt was more difficult to meet people and to make friends in that sense. But on the professor side of it, the at the community college, since the class sizes were smaller, the professors were able to get to know everyone versus at a university, the class sizes are so big that unless you go to office hours, your professors aren't going to really know who you are. What was your favorite thing about COS? Honestly, I think my favorite thing about COS was all the people that I met. Not only did I make really great friends that I'm still friends with today, like my best friend, I met her at community college and we're still friends and we talk all the time even though we transferred to different schools so I really just appreciate all the friendships that I made. And I mean, I even met my boyfriend at my community college at COS and that was not expected at all. So it's like I have all these really great memories at COS and so I just hold COS like dear to my heart. <laughs> And another thing that I really liked about COS was how available and how willing the professors were to help you. All the time, I would always go to check to see if professors were in their office, and if they were in their office, then they were more than willing to help me with anything, with any problems or questions that I had, and I really, really appreciated that because they didn't have to. I mean, they were still busy doing other stuff, but they were always so willing to help me. And at university, you know, professors, they have research going on, they have all this other stuff, they have, you know, their huge class size, so they don't really do that, which is understandable because they're busy. So that is just something I really appreciated from COS. Are you still in contact with community college professors? I am not. <laughs> But this is 100% my fault. I haven't tried to reach out to them recently. Um, I think maybe the first year I transferred, I did email quite a couple of them. Um, but ever since then, I haven't reached out or updated a, updated them on my life. So, yeah. 
so that's my fault <laughs> But I'm pretty sure if I were to email them to this day that they would be more than happy to hear from me and that they would remember me because I had great relationships with them. Is there a difference in opportunities? Yes, there definitely is a difference, especially when it comes to research, which is a huge thing. If you're going to the medical field, if you're going to go on to a PhD route, for all of those, research is almost mandatory. And obviously, if you go to a community college, for the most part, community college do not have research opportunities like universities. So I think that is one of the main differences. And then on top of that, I feel like universities have a lot more scholarships and a lot more um, extra things to give. A whole bunch of different clubs just because universities are bigger so there's more opportunities to get involved and to do more activities depending on what it is that you're interested in. And also more opportunities to get paid for doing research which I could talk about in my next video. How did I get paid to do research? So that is all for today's video. Again, this was all just my personal opinion based off how I felt and what I did throughout community college and um, part of my university. But I hope my insight was a little helpful. And if it was, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions about community college or if you have questions about what it was like being at a university or transferring to a university. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. I will see you all next week. Bye!